It's time for more tip reviews. Sitting down edition, because there's too many people walking around and I don't want to film people without asking them for permissions. I just saw Perfect Days by Vim Vendors, and I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Vim Vendors has been on a bit of a cold street lately. Sure, there was that amazing ballet film that he made in 3D, but the rest of the films, they mostly play festivals, and that's pretty much it. There was one that starred James Franco that was in 3D that basically came and went. And I had kind of slotted him into that category of great filmmakers who still making movies and they don't quite have it. Like they're still doing it. They're still going with intent, but there's like a prestige kind of desperation to their pictures that just didn't really interest me anymore. I love early Vim Vendors where he's making almost like experimental character studies that has no real interest in plot but is all about vibes and that's exactly what he does with this new movie it stars koji yakusho as a janitor who spends his days going from amazing looking tokyo toilet to amazing looking tokyo toilet at least i think it's tokyo he does work for a company called tokyo toilets i mean i gotta pause here and just say these toilets are amazing including one that has like glass doors that are opaque depending if it's locked or not and they're all in different colors so like part of the movie is watching him go through his daily routine actually the entirety of the movie is watching him go over and over through his daily routine going to these amazing toilets as little by little more is revealed about this man's past now there's no big climactic reveal i keep saying that word climactic in these reviews these are festival films they don't have big climactic things most of the time and you get, like, just enough to understand the emotion that is going through this man and the life that he's chosen, the things that he loves, like photographs or just going to the same bar every night. And it just has this cumulative effect where by the end, when it gets to this big emotional moment, it's not like you're thinking back at the things of, oh, yeah, this is sad. It's just like everything on the outside of it. And. You're filling it in, but it works mostly because of the central performance. And Vim Vender is just doing what he does best. Just following a character as he goes about his life, does very specific things with pride, and listens to classic rock. Yeah, we're back into classic rock Vim Vender's. All the tunes that if you turn on the radio right now, you'll probably hear Vim Vender's is packing them through this film. Even making them diegetic within the picture because... This janitor loves listening to tape because haven't you heard? Tapes are coming back. There's not too much to explain about this movie. Just that like Vendors has such a great tonal control and that he's working with an actor that can carry this all on his back that it is clearly a emotional picture that in my opinion completely works. I'm a little surprised that Japan picked it as their best picture contender for the Oscars this year considering that it is directed by Vin Vendors who has been obsessed with Japan seemingly his entire life but Again, not a Japanese filmmaker. This film is definitely Japan feeling. It has an intense love for the country. And it's not kind of like Lost in Translation-ish, which it doesn't have that like, oh my God, can you believe this? It's just any other city that has its little kind of beautiful things that are distinct from that city. And it is an absolute joy to just experience it through the runtime of the film. As the film was playing, there was something that I rarely experienced with this type of movie is that I was getting sad that it was going to be over, that I wasn't going to be able to spend any more time with this character in this world at this particular tonal wavelength. And that's why, like, the final moments of this movie really hit me because it is just something that, I don't know, he, it digs into you, and if it grabs hold, it will absolutely just completely get you. Does this mean that Vim Vendors is back? Sure. Great movie. Probably has some more great ones in him. Just keep at this style. You know what this reminds me of? It's kind of like Paul Schrader. That when Paul Schrader finally just accepted the thing that he loves doing, even though that people may look at it and go, oh, are you doing that again? He, his pictures just started to sing once more. And Vim Vendors went back to the beginning, did the character stuff that he loves best, and man, this picture just sinks.